rugby's community really let me down today. Not just me, but everyone that's in the community. I am so ashamed. So I watched a podcast by Mr. Roth Ruffles, which featured a YouTuber called Stanley557. Both of these channels will be linked in the description as well as the video I'm about to talk about. So they did a podcast together and Stanley557 had some different opinions that most of the community wouldn't have, such as Liberty Falls is going to be a good map and he, was ex and he likes the Cold War features and he's just more enthusiastic about the stuff that most people in the community are more negative about and that's okay, everyone is allowed to have a different opinion. Opinion. And of course, the zombie community be really nice about it, right? Unfortunately not. So I had a look at the comments of this video after I watched the whole thing because I really enjoyed their um, discussion. I thought it was really fascinating. Anyway, so I looked at the comments and some of them were not very nice. I have not seen comments like this by the zombies community in a long time regarding people's different opinions on different maps, modes and features. I was embarrassed ashamed and disgusted about what I read and it even went to us that far and that bad that even Mr. Roth Ruffles had to make the following statement in the comment section. Mm. Some of these comments I'm seeing are absolutely horrible. Just because Stanley has different opinions to you about a video game doesn't give you the right to start being awful towards him. Please show some more respect here. A friend of the channel should be a friend of yours even if you disagree with him. I mean it's embarrassing in itself that Mr. Roth Waffles has to tell people to be respectful on YouTube. It's unbelievable. Like, I don't understand why people would go out of their way to make nasty comments towards the guy. I'm not even showing the comments yet. Let's have a look at those to, to emphasize this point a bit further. This comment says, this guy has to be a paid actor with that weird smirk. He's got to be trolling. You can tell by his face that he just enjoys having a unique opinion on literally anything. Nothing to do with hate or disagreement. I can just tell that this guy just says whatever will get him the most attention. And here's an absolute beauty. Stanley557 needs to take a good hard look in the mirror and reevaluate. Well, these comments say it all to me. Like, it's genuinely heartbreaking. These people clearly have never seen another opinion in their entire life. Why on earth would you say things like that to anybody in the comments saying that their opinion's almost invalid and that they can't have a different opinion? People are just insane these days. It is ridiculous. Like, why can't people just accept opinions for what they are and understand that not everyone's the same? People are different. I have different opinions. My friend Bob has different opinions. You get what I'm trying to say? It is ridiculous and hurtful and horrible and i'm gonna say a big thank you to all the nice people in the comments of that particular podcast because there's some people that really supported um stanley 557 for having a different intake for having a different opinion but what i saw in these comments for the most part especially uh, in the bad end was absolutely appalling there are other comments but i'm not putting them on the channel because some of them were absolutely vile commenting on the way he looks and the way he smiles on the podcast that's another one apparently him smiling the podcast cats makes him some kind of liar or something or he wants the attention do you not guys not realize that mr off waffles has like over 2 million subscribers stanley's what 14 15k or something like that he's going to be a bit nervous because he knows he's got a large audience there's a lot of pressure and it's a big interview for him it's a huge deal he's gonna have that nervous smile people are insane i'd love to see what how people would react that made that comment it went on a, a podcast similar to that Honest to God, people haven't got a clue these days. Anyway, I'm going to stop ranting there and I'm going to dedicate a little bit of time towards Stanley557 if he ends up watching. And I just want to say thank you so much for being on the platform and having all these different opinions. And I love your videos, man. I'll admit I only just subscribed today, but I have been watching. I can promise you that. Some of the documentaries that you put out are insane. The amount of hours, dedication and determination that you've given to this community is incredible and i really really hope you go far in the future because you deserve way more subs than some people i've seen in the zombies community I have way more subscribers than you. you put so much time and effort and i can't reiterate how much that's inspired me and other people to make very similar content i've got my own retrospective series on my own and other, other maps myself and 
you were one of the YouTubers that's definitely inspired me to do that. So I thank you for that. I thank you for being part of this community. And who knows, maybe one day we'll collab or, you know, get in touch or whatever, because I really love that, man. I genuinely love your content and you're an amazing part of this community and I wish you all the best. Anyway, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. Please make sure you go over to Stanley557's channel um, and the podcast and support him as much as you can in the comments of their videos um, below because that would mean a lot to me and a lot to the community so we can have more positivity and more um, conversations about the future of Call of Duty Zombies in a positive and um, constructive way. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.